how good of a prospect is Zachary Risa share actually? I think that's a question that a lot of people are going to be asking for the next couple months, and I want to try to answer it. We're going to go over his defense, offense, some of like the, the good and the bad, and overall why I'm a little bit lower on him, and think of him as more of like four to eight range than actual like number one pick contender. But one thing that is quite legit, and this video was requested by one of the commenters. Um, I would love to do your suggestions. So if you have them, feel free to leave them below. Drop a like. Subscribing would be amazing. All of that really helps. But recent shares defense is pretty legit. He's like 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, I don't know exactly how tall he is. He looks short and small sometimes on the court, but his lateral quickness and hip mobility are crazy. Like, look at how fast he hops this way, stabs, kind of like reaches, kind of gets beat here, but immediately changes direction, slides, ends up contesting this shot. And this is a constant, constant thing with him that he's able to beat ball handlers to their spots, right? Risa Cher, we can see the lateral quickness here hanging with this defender, keeping his torso straight while moving side to side, ends up bumping and getting the steal. Reese's Share's best defensive quality to me is that he sticks to players like glue. It is impossible to get rid of him once he attaches, or very difficult. Um, his like agility, getting around screens, his footwork is always so tight and precise, and he just seems to stick with players running all over the court in a pretty unique way for like how often he does it. It is just very hard to shake him, and when you do, he has the recovery tools to make big plays. Risa Share kind of bites here. His technique, as we've kind of seen already, isn't perfect at this point. But he gets beat, he gets opened up, but we see him recovering with the pretty decent speed, the length, great length and timing for that just like vicious, nasty block there. And yeah, he, he, he just doesn't seem like a fun player to try to play, to play offense against, which is a compliment, which is a pretty high compliment. Like, this is what he's going to do, chase you around screens. He's really good. Sometimes he does struggle with strength, but he can usually slide around screens and we can see him always just in the picture contesting with that mobility and size. And once he attaches, it's really over. Like, there's not so much a lot of the like ball handlers can do, even at like this like pro level, which is of course really nice to see, ends up digging here and getting the steal. But yeah, Risa Share. Like, you cannot throw lazy handoffs in front of him. He will deny you out to half court and pressure. Super deep. Switch on. Active at the nail. Digging in and helping turn the ball over there. Researcher's defense is quite good. We again see the hips move and recover for a block where he's a bit out of position here. Gets kind of, like, hugged into the screen. This is not a good spot to be in generally. But Reese's share, like a cornerback, swivels his hips, recovers, gets a block with his length. I think he's going to be really good guarding down. Like, maybe the strength, some of the explosiveness issues could hinder his ability to guard, like, th big threes and fours and wings and forwards. But against, like, shooting guards and guards and, like, faster, smaller wings, I think he's going to be really great. Um, and that probably is his best trait to me. Like I said, the, the point of attack defense is far from perfect. He, he, he's reachy at times. His positioning isn't great. I think his reaction time could be a lot quicker in certain moments. But that's overall, like... I think adding strength, as most players do, I mean, like, he's, whatever, like, 18, 19, playing in a legit pro league. Of course, he's going to get bullied. But adding strength will be huge for him because that is a big place, de place defense to exploit him. And he's a pretty decent off-ball defender. Nothing crazy, really. Like, he doesn't, like, he has some flashes of protecting the rim. Like, he'll be, like, early and rotating. But sometimes he's, like, a little late. And even though he's, like, in position outside the circle, he isn't like vertical or explosive enough to really make impact contests. Like he can rotate sometimes over for blocks, but more often than not, it's just deep, like bigger players are able to finish over him. And I don't think that's going to go away in the league, unfortunately, but there are flashes, right? Like he can get up and, and meet that player. But once again, he's shading to double the post. He, he kicks back out to the other side because he knows where his assignment is. And he's able to still make this help play here rotating like there is there are really really nice flashes so defense isn't really where my main concerns lie i think he's going to be a good defensive player at least offense is where the main concerns lie and he is a quite nice shooter i i, I struggle exactly with how good of a shooter he is but the positives on taper are evident right 
the the shooting off movement, his release is quick and high. He's really good getting it off against contests. Like you see how quickly we go from catch, and he's not like he's like bringing the ball super far down. Quickly up above his head, it, it, it it's a very like Doug McDermott esque release. I don't know why. That's the release that this reminds me most of. Like quick flick above the head, sprinting off movement to his left. That's impressive for like a six six eight ish teenager. He can hit like kind of one dribble step backs when defenses commit too hard. Which is, you know, I, I wouldn't say he's like a real off dribble shooting threat at this point, but that's a nice thing for him to have. But the he is like a pretty bad free throw shooter, which isn't like a lot of bad free throw shooters have ended up as good shooters. And his volume isn't crazy, which if, if you know this channel, you know how much three point volume matters to me in projecting shooting. It's good enough. And I think some of his is like role, like being on, on a legit pro team deflates it. But I do wish like he got up like the same kind of volume as elite shooters. So I think because of the lack of off dribble versatility, his shooting is more like very good to great, not like elite or special, which again, if I thought it was like really elite, um, then maybe I would have it in a higher tier, but like, like it, it is very good. And the percentages are good, even though I don't really value the three point percentage, but he's a phenomenal off ball player. The, the cutting, the movement, you can tell that that has been drilled into him and that's an important thing for playing in the NBA, right? And when you play in a pro league, especially, you have to learn to play off of the ball. And playing in Europe kind of forces that. Reese's share, quick cut here, kick out to the wing when the help kind of rotates. And he's a pretty solid off-ball passer. I think he's a good passer. N nothing like crazy or anything, but flash to the top of the key, lob over to the post that's like a simple quick decision within the flow of the offense that's his thing extra passes like swings and stuff that that's the main offense that Reese Jair has as a passer kick outs but even we can see and you know we'll, we'll start to see blips of his main issues which are the advantage creation the handle and which is why I'm definitely lower on the offense especially really struggles to like get downhill and like I, I don't think the mentality is a scoring one which to some extent is good projecting him as a role player, but as anything more, I'm not sure kind of where that's going to land at this point. And we'll get into that more as we go in the video, but there is some like basic pick and roll passing. He's got an empty side here, throws up a lob. His teammate catches it. This is basic like second side passing action. And I'm, I'm not super sure about his touch. His finishing numbers are solid. Like, nothing crazy and he does seem to have nice touch but we'll see themes he's not separating really at all he wins late with this really great deceleration hangs and twists in the air but that's not an easy shot right like Risa share is kind of kind of lives off of difficult shots which is a, a concern I've had with a lot of other players in the past um, even if they're good but this pass is really nice I don't know why this is this is out of order but Simple attack and close out, hop step, nice skip pass. Like this, this is the stuff that Reese Share does, and in an off ball role, that's that that's fine and good, right? That's really really helpful, and I I do think there are flashes of great touch. It's inconsistent, but he does have some smoothness as a handler that I think is like similar to the agility of like um with screen navigation. But again, this is a very difficult shot. Can't get separation from this defender who is another teenager in daddy or daddy or daddy or I don't know how to say his name. I'm not going to try that anymore. Um, really tough lefty finish hanging. And Risa share just isn't that dynamic of a, a creator. I, I really worry how this is going to hold up. Being able to dribble is so important if you're not like elite, elite shooters. That's what separates guys who can really play high leverage playoff minutes from ones who can't. And Risa Share just really can't get by anyone. The burst isn't great. He's not super like low and flexible and explosive on drives. His handle at this point is very easy to pick, though there are some flashes of holding on, but he struggles to beat the big and I think his lack of like lift and strength hurts him as a finisher a lot right now. He's just not, he's a good dunker in transition, but he can't beat a big on the switch, right? Sticks, sticks with him totally and tries that same like inside hand scoop, which is a very, very difficult, tough finish. And Reese's share can make these plays. Um, I don't know why this is showing a defensive play. My clips are all out of whack, but yeah, he's a great defender. We already went over that. He just sticks to guys and even though there was a foul drawn here we can see how high and loose the handle is here and 
it was like that like maybe it was an offensive foul kind of be pushed off your reach i don't know but point being you can see the the handle's a little high but he is kind of like an n one mixtape wannabe or, 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 or like i don't say that negatively but he does try and transition a lot of cool handling which i respect using the smooth behind the back that's probably his best move he is really solid at this behind the back smooth throw in front move but again kind of gets stuck picks up his dribble turns the ball over the feel as a driver isn't isn't amazing for sure um, and obviously the handle compounds that. He is a really nice, and I showed this twice by accident. This is kind of a mess. The feel as a handler, like as an off-ball guy is great, but as a handler it diminishes. As I mentioned in the open court, <laughs> some really good stuff can happen. Reese's share, smooth, between the legs, behind the back. Like that's, that's really good stuff. But against pressure in the half court is where I want to see the handle work. And yeah, he can definitely get up and transition. But Risa share at this, at this moment is pretty limited to just handling in transition, which just isn't super valuable to me when projecting to the NBA. Another light, nice little touch shot. Um, wonder if this like pass could have been an option for an easier, an easier play for his teammate, but he has the touch and the size and having that size really gives you a lot of work. It's like room to work as a shooter. Because you can you know, sh shoot over people and Risa Cher has flashed the ability to attack off of a closeout and shoot floaters. I do worry some about his ability, like I said before, to hit these floats always against NBA level length and size. He really does struggle to get shots over bigger, more athletic defenders because of his lack of vertical explosion and, and, and strength and all that stuff at the basket. And he does make questionable decisions on the drive, right? He's like at the, he's very affected by help, I'll say. Basically, this big defender shows in his vision, right? And Risa Share immediately picks up the ball and tries to pass it. He's not confident enough in his handle and his burst to hold the ball here, despite not really being that much pressure. And this guy's just stunting, right? But he tries to pick it up, kind of gets fooled right there. And obviously that's going to come with experience, right? He, he's going to learn from that. But I do think there's like some, I have concerns about like the mentality and of course the handle is is weak. And I, I think that that wiring component is important. And speaking of the wiring component a little bit, I just wanted to, as we end this address, uh, something I've seen is Michael Porter Jr. comparisons. And I just want to remind people how special of a prospect Michael Porter Jr. was. Um, he was a godly offensive player in high school. He could hit like tough floaters. The shot making him all over the floor was great. He was an incredible driver, could handle, blow by, you know, that's a M future NBA player, finished at the rim, legitimately enormous player with a great handle, good burst, explosion, shot making. Um, and I think like this is what an elite shooting prospect looks like because we have the versatility in the mid range and from three, we have all the percentages in the off ball shooting too. But for Risa Share, the volume just like isn't that level and it's not that level. And I just don't think comparing people to Michael Porter Jr. is really fair. But I think Risa Share makes a lot of sense for teams in like the mid lottery. If the Pistons fall, I think he would make a lot of sense, but they might take him a number one, which I wouldn't like, but I would get it. Spurs make a ton of sense, I think, is the other one that pops out. Hornets would make a ton of sense. As I do think he has a pretty high floor given like the decent enough shooting and I think the defense could be quite good even if there are holes but he just like doesn't do that much on offense and, and maybe I'm overvaluing that but I do think usage and like this on these on ball flashes at lower levels are important because most role players were legit stars or on ball creators at lower levels and Risa Sher is not that guy um he is very young right and has a lot of room to improve but this, these are kind of my reasons for having him a little lower, right? I think he's like seventh-ish on my board. Um, I could see him like top five, maybe even top four. But number one, I think he would comfortably be the worst number one pick since since Anthony Bennett. Like no shade, but like it would not be a move that I'd support. But I think he's pretty good, and I would say I've gotten higher on Risa Share through this process watching him more um, because he does have a lot of very like important traits. So yeah, hope you enjoyed.